him for this match. Alan Porter is captain, David Byrne vice-captain. Then there's Marsh, Jones, War, O'Donnell, McClay, Zura, Whitney and Reed, with Simon Davis in the side. And Greg Matthews is the 12th man. Whereas Australia have played six bowlers, England have gone in with five, plus, uh, plus uh, Mike Gatting, who can bowl if necessary. Phil Edmonds is the 12th man. And there, just uh, below the middle of the order, is Ian Botham, who quite often has such a marvellous influence on these limited overs matches. Ian Botham, three for 150 now, we're into the 36th over, very important moment for Alan Border and his team, Whitney is going to come on, when he hits him, they stay hit, three for 176. There it goes, there's a man down there, it's McClay, he's got one, he won't get this one, good cross at six. It's a beauty over Long On. 27,000 people cheer as the champion hits Whitney out of the attack at three for 217. Simon Davis could be described as a run miser. He did a great job for his country last year against India and New Zealand. But uh, just about the, uh, I'd say the ultimate problem now is to see both of them on strike well that's oh what a shot they've scored 20 off the last two overs simon davis bowls a good half volley right on middle stump and he splits mid off and long on superb straight well just an idea of the power in this shot mid off and mid on are only about 25 meters apart and they're not even in sight as Tommy goes again, can he get it? McCray's the man, he's had a rough day. He knocks, he doesn't get it, he kicks it over the fence. Four more. Both of them at his best. The sight screen in danger here at the Wacker. Both of them hitting perfectly straight. Full pitch, there it goes. That's four more. 27,000 people and the commentators stand up. What a performance. Great hitting by the great all-rounder. And that's 53. You don't have to run for that, Ian Botham. That is 40 metres back. One of the all-time great knocks in one day international cricket here at the Wacker. The crowd standing to their feet. What a great effort by the great all-rounder. Well, you dream about bringing up a 50 with a 6 or a 100. And Botham was going to do it right from the very beginning of this over. A standing ovation. He has really worried the spectators straight here at the Wacker on the left hand side of the side screen on the right hand side of the side screen and that one 30 rows back and here we go again it's a full safe it'll split the gap that'll go for six more what a hit what an over for England not so for Simon Davis Irving Rose and Waters Red Pen's gone berserk three fours and two sixes for the great all-rounder three for 252 Stephen War. Oh, he's hit that over point. That'll be four more. There's nobody down there, and this is a batting exhibition of the top order. And that shot's not in the coaching manual. Out. He's gone. The end of a great innings. The crowd roar. Both of them out for 68. Port Zura bowled War. A magnificent short innings. A standing ovation. Great entertainment. But both of them shows the bat, acknowledges the crowd. He's got to walk through the space. He hit two magnificent sixes on the onside. Another one over mid-off. And we just saw that boundary through point. He gave the bat the ball of the charge. And there it is. Well, a congratulations. He's come a long way to see that knock. He'll never, ever forget it. Let's have a look at his wagon wheel. And look at those shots. The white ones, uh, three of them. The ones that go over the... Light green, they're sixes. Hit into the members area, one over mid-off, two over the long on. Both of them 68 from 39 balls faced and in the end England six for 272. That's a target of 273 from only 49 overs. 33 one day internationals for Dean Jones. And he starts very confidently. Should be an easy three there, the way Dean Jones runs. In fact, uh, if Geoffrey Marsh had got a bit of a move on 
earlier on in the running they would have got four so he's hit that it's going straight down the ground will it be over it's six a beautiful shot from Dean Jones just short of a length it was and he heaved it over the boundary of square leg just what the doctor ordered Jones very strong with that bottom hand gripped it square it went like a bullet straight over the fence at square leg there it goes zoom crash beautifully played And that's a good hit. That's four runs, and that's beautifully struck by Jones. He's really taking the attack to the Englishman. It's well hit. It clears Chris Broad and the fence. A great over for Australia. Dean Jones moves uh, ever closer to a century. His first ever, it would be. He has got a 99 not out. He's now on 98. Marvellous hit. The umpires are signalling four now in the background. Ball just hit the top of the fence. Thanks. There it is, a century for Dean Jones. That's fine innings from Dean Jones. Only 123 balls faced. Great ovation here from the crowd, but he has to keep going and he has to pull off something quite sensational over the next uh, two or three overs. And third man won't get that. Beautifully timed. Jones playing in the same sort of form played in that McDonald's Cup match when he got a century. In trouble, David Gow. A bubble, and he's got it. And that could be the last of the Australian effort. With three real bunnies to come. It's been a great performance by Dean Jones, but it ends with that catch by David Gow. Gow's heart would have left a long way in the air there. Great ovation from Dean Jones from this crowd, which is a record for the ground since the changes have been made here. And they're all on their feet. It was a good effort from the Australians, 235, but not good enough. Dean Jones, 104.